Morning YouTubers, Facebookers and Instagrammers. I'm here with Richard and Bethany. Bethany's not in the video, but she's been doing a lot of the training with this young pup. Um, they've been training for, with me for a little while now and like most of the time, you'll hear me banging on about this retrieve, but they did it in such textbook style on this video that I wanted to share it with you guys. You'll see the back feet of my pup is on the floor, front feet on uh, Richard's chest. He's trying to go nose to muzzle with the dog. We're trying to keep that dog really nice and relaxed and how you can communicate through your hands and your voice is really essential to trying to keep your dog nice and relaxed when it comes back. Trying to keep the hands away from the mouth because that often makes the dog want to let go or not want to come into you. He's taken the retrieve off the pup now. He's going to give it a little bit of a roll. Release with the left to push the right arm out, encouraging the dog back in. Now what you'll see here on the video, the dog's not going very far because we don't need to do distance. It's just about getting from the retrieve back to the handler into that strong position. Now, one of the things we've got to make sure that we do until we have that strong retrieve, we're really trying to avoid all the other bad influences, toys to play with, being out too much, anything that can be a distraction from the focus elements of your training. And in the, certainly in this first 20 weeks of training, you're really looking at about doing a, a very small amount of the right thing and trying to avoid all the things that will end up uh, interrupting and corrupting your young dog. This can be quite frustrating at times because a lot of the time you feel that you should be doing way more than you are but if you're doing that then you do stand a chance of doing it right don't forget if you've bought a working spaniel and you put a collar on it, it does not stop uh, that dog wanting to be the dog that it's been originally bred for and that's what tends to catch people out anyway um, I hope you've enjoyed this little video it's great to see one of my clients doing really well lots and lots of my clients are doing great as well um, I just wanted to use this one because he's managed to get the dog to do this absolutely textbook style anyway don't forget I do online training uh, you can contact me on Facebook Hampshire Spaniel Training Instagram Hampshire Spaniel Training and follow me here on YouTube um, I do make other videos as well for my online clients but they're only available to those guys uh, but if you want any help get in contact with me and we'll go from there